I didn't ask him how he ended up in this situation, but this person had Evernote logged in only on his iPad. And to make matters worse, he lost access or maybe deleted the Google Authenticator app. So he wouldn't be able to uh, log in to Evernote using a different device. And I'm pretty sure Evernote support cannot do anything here because the codes are generated locally. And this is not only Evernote, I doubt any other company would be able to do something to help this person. And although it's a pretty unique circumstance, I thought of sharing the solution I came up with you because maybe there's another person out there needing help with this. After all, it happened to a person. <laughs> maybe other people are going through the same problem. I was pretty sure this was not going to work, but I had to ask him to at least try to remove the authenticator layer from his account using the Evernote settings on the iPad. And yeah, it didn't work. So we had to move to a more drastic approach. The idea was to share all his notebooks from this, let's call it locked account with a new account. So he would have first to create a new account and then share each one of his notebooks with that account. I told him to do it one by one, not try to share all of them at once because I think that's kind of a recipe to disaster. That notebook would be visible on both accounts and on the new account, preferably on a computer, he would then copy those notes from the shared notebook to a local notebook from a, a notebook on created on that new account and repeat the process for each notebook and that's it but i strongly suggest dealing with the account number two the new account on a computer because first there's no way to select multiple notes on the uh, iPad or even the iPhone the mobile clients of, of Evernote. You cannot do that. So it's going to be hard to move multiple notes and you can do that on a computer. Just remember that you can do up to a hundred notes per time. But anyway, if you're saving your account, that's, I guess, the least of your problems. To avoid this, uh, try to first take care of the Authenticator app. There are multiple, uh, I guess all of the, the, the password managers can deal and, and, and save uh, the, key, the QR code, the codes. You can scan the, co the QR code with those password managers and they will keep the everything uh, saved on them. But if you are not into this kind of apps, one thing that you can do is print screen or even better print the QR code that you first use to create the link, to create the, the generator, the codes on your phone. That first QR code is the one that creates the connection. But be very careful with that. Anyone with that QR code can create the same uh, codes, the code generator, and gain access to your account. Anyway, like I said before, this is a pretty unique situation, but who knows, maybe someone else out there is struggling with something similar and this can help. And if this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.